heat conduction equation in cylindrical coordinates actually here we are having a cylinder and this is a cylinder we will be taking an element out of it and that element is enlarged in this shape and here this angle is d phi this element is having here the angle is d phi and this distance is r so r into d phi is this distance similarly this is dr and uh, this distance is dr and this is d is z d is z so now we have every side d is z r d phi dr so if we want to find the volume of this element then it will be equal to d z into dr d phi into dr r d phi into dr so that's the volume now heat entering in r direction this is the r direction so heat entering in r direction is qr that is equal to minus k a dt by dr so only heat going out that is qr plus dr so heat heat in minus heat out is equal to heat stored that is equal to qr minus qr plus dr that is equal to minus dqr now we are multiplying and dividing with the dr so qr we know qr is equal to k dt by dr so we are substituting here k dt by dr this k and a are constant so that is taken out d square t by dr square into dr area area is the area of uh, this inlet that is this this is our element and this is our area so this area is this distance d z into this distance r d phi so d z into r d phi we get the area so now we are rearranging it so we get k d square t dr square into r d phi it's a d z dr that is the energy stored because of the heat transfer in r direction now in theta direction theta direction is actually this direction this direction is theta direction so q entering is equal to not theta direction phi direction we are calling that angle phi so phi direction heat entering is equal to q phi heat going out is equal to q phi plus d phi q phi plus d q phi so here heat in is equal to q phi heat out is equal to q phi plus d q phi so heat stored is equal to heat in minus heat out so minus, minus d q phi d q phi now dividing and multiplying with d phi anyway at last we should write heat is stored in phi direction is equal to k r d phi dr dz that is this similar thing this thing so then instead of d square t by dr square we should write d square t phi d square phi d phi square sorry d square phi d phi square that is here r but here we will have phi then uh, along with d phi square put a r square then we will get that particular time so that's how we get uh, what is the energy stored in phi direction now in z direction for this r substitute z then we will get energy stored in z direction so this is the energy stored in r direction now if we are putting phi in place of this r and multiplying with r square you will get the energy stored in phi direction if you are putting z in in place of this r then you will get energy stored in z direction so these are the energy stored now now uh, the second thing is so now we have the energy stored because of heat transfer now suppose if q is the energy uh, liberated or heat liberated per unit volume then tot so it is heat per unit volume now total heat is equal to q into volume so q into volume is r d phi into dr into dz so because here this is also volume so r d phi into dr into dz so now we have total heat so uh, this is the total heat liberated so here or total heat is stored because of liberation so here this is the energy stored because of heat transfer and this is the energy stored because of heat liberation now at last suppose say so we had the element somewhat like this and here this was r d phi this was d z and this was dr so here the mass of this particular element is so our third part is mass of mass is equal to rho into volume and rho into volume is equal to r d phi into d z into dr that is these three dimensions are multiplied now we get mass so m c d t m c d t is the total energy stored so total energy stored that is equal to m 
arrow into r d phi d z d r into c d t that is the total energy stored this is but we want to get the energy stored in unit time so divide this by time dt now we get energy stored by unit time now uh, so this is the energy stored per unit time but we have got the energy stored in an another way that is by adding the energy stored because of heat transfer in r direction phi direction and z direction and because of heat liberation so uh, take this as equation one this is equation two this is equation three and we have an equation four here so these four are added and equated to this number equation five then we will get some equation like uh, our heat conduction equation like so i am simplifying it and writing k into d square t by dr square plus k into d square t by r square into d phi square plus k into d square t by d z square plus q is equal to rho into c into dt by dt so this is the heat conduction equation in uh, uh, the cylindrical coordinates thank you